everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This will include some of the exercises that are on the pelvic floor postnatal yoga handout that I usually give out when um, I teach them on baby yoga. We're going to get started. Um, you'll want to be on a, a, a very flat surface, ideally a yoga mat. And we're going to come down to lie down. So just make sure if you do want to put something under the back of the head that's not too high, you don't want the head pushed up too much. Come down and have your feet about hip distance apart. You can rest the hands down by the sides. If you've got your baby with you, you could put your baby in your lap and just hold them um, here, but otherwise just have them sort of nearby, okay? So the first one we're going to do is a little bit of pelvic floor lifting. So you have your feet there on the floor, relaxed, hip distance apart. Just feel your way into the sort of weight of the pelvis around the lower back. If you want to bring your hands there, if they're free, onto your, your hips, you can, or you can just rest them down by the sides. And just feel the weight of the body, back of the body rested against the floor, that kind of little natural curve under the back of the neck. Weight the shoulder blades down. We'll start by taking a really big deep breath in. Checking that the rib cage isn't flared. And then exhale all the way out. Breathing out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose again. Big breath in. Nothing really changes in the position of the body there, other than you might feel that expanse around the rib cage and diaphragm. And then breathe out now through the mouth, like you're breathing through pursed lips. So it's a little, like you're blowing through a straw. One more. Big breath in. And exhale. Okay, and just bring your awareness down to where your pelvis is. And we're going to um, name certain points so that we can kind of, we can have these sort of verbal cues so that we know what we're doing. So the pubic bone at the front of the pelvis is going to be referred to as north. Uh, the tailbone at the back of the pelvis is going to be referred to as south, okay? So bring your awareness down to your pelvis and just feel that you're bringing north and south towards each other. So pubic bone is going towards the tailbone and then release. We'll have the breath in in a moment. So north and south are coming together and then we release. Now notice if you're really trying to squeeze your bottom, try not to do that as much. It's more the, the kind of internal muscles. It'll be a little bit easier with the breath in a moment. So we're going to add the breath in. Deep breath in. Again, nothing changes around the rib cage. Don't let it flare. Keep the weight of the body down. As you exhale now, bring north and south, pubic bone to tailbone together, and then pull a little bit more at the front of the pelvic floor, so front passage. Inhale, release back down, nice and steady, and then exhale as you breathe out, breathing through the mouth, bring north and south towards each other. And then relax. The breath comes in, the pelvic floor releases, and then we exhale and we pull up the pelvic floor floor and we bring north and south towards each other and then we inhale to let go exhale to lift we're going to do one more round if you're doing these at home you can carry on and I would do a few rounds each day and every day if possible okay and at some point we're obviously lying down now but at some point do this when you're you're stood up okay and then one more all right, and then relax. The next one we're going to do now, your two sit bones, the two horseshoe shaped bones that you sit on, are now going to be called east and west, okay? So we're going to bring it east and west towards each other. So think about your bum cheeks and you're kind of bringing the muscles, under, the bones under the, um, your bottom towards one another, east and west. Deep breath in. Exhale, feel like you're bringing east and west towards each other, the sit bones, and then pull up a bit more at the back passage, back passage of the pelvic floor, inhale to release, exhale to lift, again that breathing out through the mouth, inhale to release, exhale to lift, okay we'll keep going, we're going to do two more, And then last one, 
inhale as you release. Exhale, bring in east and west. So I'm going to pull a bit more of the back passage, okay, and then relax back down, okay. And again, do a few rounds of that. Um, so north and south, tailbone coming towards the pubic bone, and then east and west, sit bones coming towards each other. So a few rounds each day if possible. Okay, so now from here, you're going to bring your pubic bone towards your belly button, okay? So this movement wants to come more from the, the tummy muscles and especially around the, the oblique. So it's like you're shorting that distance between the top of the pelvis and these lower ribs here. And again, try not to squeeze your bottom. So we'll inhale, relax. You've got a natural curve in your lower back. You should feel that little sort of pocket of air, little belly. And as you exhale now, bring the pubic bone towards the belly button. So again, the shortening this distance around the front, trying not to squeeze the bum. Relax as you breathe in. Exhale, bring pubic bone to belly button. Drawing navel to spine, pulling to the pelvic floor as well. Inhale to relax. Exhale to lift. Keep going. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. And last one. Big breath in, exhale, pubic bone towards the belly button. Okay, and then relax. Right, now last thing we're going to do is some knee drops. So again, these are on the pelvic floor, hands out. I'm going to bring the feet a little bit closer together. So you can keep your hands now, maybe just here on, on the hips, okay, so on the, the hip bones. When the, the knee goes out to the side, you're trying to stay very stable through that other side, okay? Nothing should be moving there. You're just letting the knee come out, and then you're going to bring it back. So we'll do that a few times without the breath, and we'll add the breath in. Let the right knee fall out, so you go more to the side of your foot, little toe side, and then bring it back in. Use the hand on the other side to give you a bit of feedback, so if you feel very unstable, if there's a lot of movement on the other side, you've probably gone too far with the knee. So it's not a big movement. It's a very controlled movement. Now we're gonna add the breath in. So we're gonna inhale as the knees are here and, and then we exhale and let the knee go out and that's where you're pulling up the pelvic floor. And then inhale, bring the knee back. Exhale, the other knee goes out, pull up the pelvic floor, keep nice and stable on the other side and then inhale, Come back to centre, keep going. So it's not a big movement, but it's a very slow, concentrated movement. You don't want to rush through these sort of exercises. It's really not about that. It's about really concentrating on what you're doing and trying to feel your way into each movement. And notice what you notice. So one side might feel, you know, much more stable than the other. Sometimes we feel like we can't kind of get the connection as much as we'd like through the movement, through the muscles. And then we want to try and, so we're trying to re-establish that connection if it's been lost. So take your time, especially as you're coming back. And sometimes that moving away is a little bit easier. We can feel our way into that. But when we release the pelvic floor, sometimes it just sort of drops back down and there's less connection. So nice and slow. Exhale as the knee goes out, pull up the pelvic floor, inhale, release the pelvic floor back down, lift the knee. Okay, we'll do a couple more on each side, and again, a few sets of these each day. Be really good. Nice, gentle exercise to do after you've had your baby, and any time really. It's, it's not just a postnatal exercise. Okay, one more on each side. Okay, and then let your hands come down. Just let your feet go a bit wider than your mat and let your knees drop side to side. Just a little release there. Okay. 
and then bring the knees in, just give them a little hug in, gently again, rock side to side, keep the tummy drawn in, still let the belly push out here, and then just bring yourself over to one side, use your hand to lift yourself up, okay, and then come all the way up, comfortable cross leg position, okay, I hope you enjoyed that, if you haven't been to any of the mum and baby classes um, that I teach and you would like the handout, then just contact me, um, and I can send that through to you. But those exercises that we did there are some of the ones that are included in that. And they are some of the ones um, that we do in the mum and baby classes. Okay. Thank you for watching. Namaste.